Welcome to Nellyville. We're all newborns. Get a half a meal. Son, get the Vanderbilt. As soon as they can reach the wheel. And all this time is the size of the. Alright, hello. This is my video on how to play games on your computer with a wired Xbox controller. You can do it with, um, with a wireless one, but you need an adapter and. I have no idea what he said, so if you can get it, then you can use the after, but I, I have no idea. So yeah, for a wireless controller, you just need to download the link in the description. It'll come with these two files, or three files, and one's a picture, one's a program. You're going to open up the program once you bring it to your desktop to put it in a folder wherever you want it. And this should be blank. And I'll do new, show you what it should look like. When you do new, it'll bring up this window. You're gonna go to image. You're going to open. And you're going to open that picture. And then you just set all of the buttons. So for stick one, you would just drag this to the first stick, stick two, drag it there. And then for D-pad, put it where the D-pad is, on whatever controller you're using. I'm guessing it's Xbox and that's what this video is for. And you know, buttons, you just Press a button on the controller and it'll bring up something for that button. It'll bring up a little box. And I don't know what button I just pressed because I'm trying to pick up my controller. So yeah, you'll press the button. Let's just say I press the X button. You put that on the X button. And you can name it whatever you want. Then the triggers, they just practically pop up automatically for you. And then you just click finish and close. Now, obviously, I missed some buttons because I was just giving you an example. I want to open up my actual save Xbox. And, <clears throat> what's it called? None of these should have things on them yet. This is one I already have set up. Actually, yeah, there we go. It'll look like this, most likely. And,. This is basically like all the buttons that you can have on it. All, like, this is just every possibility. Unless you change the D pad to an 8 way D pad. And then if I press, like, bottom left, it'll know. And top right. You can use all of them. I think you can do that with the sticks too, but I don't. Now for Minecraft, if you want to like make it so it's Minecraft controls, you would just change this stick to W, S, and D. So that way you're moving your W, S, and W, S, A, D keys around the moving your analog stick. <coughs> and for the right stick, you would do um, mouse normal. So that way it's like you're moving your mouse around. See, even lose my cursor. And what's it called? If that's like way too slow, you can go to mouse settings and change how fast it is. Okay. You can invert it. I don't know what those would be for. Maybe switch directions, you know, on call of duty. You can press up and you can go down for you. I don't know. I don't know who uses that, I think that's confusing as hell. But, um, obviously, all the buttons are obvious. Yeah, I think that should be it. Make sure you click the annotation for the next video, which is going to show you some more complicated stuff and more ways to use this. Have a good day.